Cowboy King. Uh, NFL Week 4 preview for you guys, man. Detroit Lions versus the Minnesota Vikings. Um, first and foremost, before I get into the video, I want to shout some guys out right quick. Uh, I want to shout out Namas, uh, Mr. Highland Park, uh, Mondo Ray, Hammer Down. I uh, wanted to shout you guys out. Uh, the Ace Taker. Definitely want to shout you guys out, man. I uh, didn't get a chance to do it last video. But uh, I didn't forget about you guys, man. Just a lot of us, man. It's a lot of this DVE family. So, shout out to you fellas, man. You guys, you know, y'all go check out their channels, man. Follow these dudes. Good content, man. Um, with that being said, let's, let's get into this thing, man. The Detroit Lions versus the Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota Vikings. Case Keenum. Dalvin Cook and uh, Case Keenum and Dalvin Cook. <laughs> to me, that's your recipe of winning this game if you're the Detroit Lions. Um, I believe the Detroit Lions will go ahead and win this game in Minnesota. Um, not saying that from a bias standpoint, but do, be it that we have uh, a top five defense in the NFL right now. Um, and, you know, what happened this past uh, uh, week, so I, I, I definitely expect the Lions to come out like a madhouse. Um, it's looking like Jared Davis will uh, be playing. It's looking like Travis uh, Swanson will be playing. Uh, so the Lions will be near full strength again. Hopefully we can get a little bit more out of Ziggy. You know, his recovery is, you know, is is key. So it depends on how he's feeling. Uh, you know, with that being said, I still think the Lions uh, be able to go ahead and take care of business. We took care of business against these guys last year, um, you know, without Amir Abdullah and, you know, the injury, you know, the injuries we had last year. Uh, we swept these cats, though. So, um, you know, I'm not worried about Case Keenum. I think the defense will go ahead and exploit, uh, uh, ex exploit him, um, you know, expose him, and they probably – pull down about either a pick or two uh, against this guy, I believe. Um, but I think our defense will probably be relentless um, coming out the gate. The key is for our offense to come out the gate and do what they got to do. No slow starts. You can't give, you know, an opportunity or something to happen like it happened last game. So uh, Matthew Stafford, they got to come out and take care of business. Uh, go take usually shreds the Vikings, man. So I'm looking for him to have a, a pretty good game. Um, but I definitely want to see TJ Jones and, and Kenny Galladay involved a little bit more in the offense. Um, you know, if if Ebron is not showing up, man, hey, throw the ball to Darren Fells, man. I know he's more of a blocking tight end, but hey, throw him the ball. <laughs> At least he can catch it. Um, <laughs> But Marvin Jones, of course, got to take care of business as well, man. But that running game, they have to come out. Our offensive line have to create holes for our run game uh, to be able to, you know, to flourish, man. They have to learn how to create those holes, man. They're still trying to learn and glue together as an offensive unit, man. Uh, TJ, uh, TJ Lang had harkened on it again, um, talking on a radio station, so... Um, he obviously they know that as an offensive unit, so they definitely have to be able to open holes. I'm pretty, pretty smooth with the pass protection. You know, Matthew Stafford ain't been getting killed, so <laughs> I'm pretty smooth with that. Um, yeah, but the Lions definitely got to take care of business. Can't let Dalvin Cook run all over you. That's why you know I, I'm looking forward to see Jared D Jared Davis play. Um, I felt like if he would have played last week. Um, you know, a lot of those runs up the middle probably wouldn't have happened like they did. Uh, I feel like Tahir Whitehead plays better when he's outside, alongside Jared Davis. Um, so hopefully he can get back out there. He's pre practiced yesterday. So um, that's also a good sign. Him and uh, Swanee both practice. Uh, don't know what's going on with uh, Dwayne Washington. Uh, he's listed as questionable so far this week. So. Uh, I'm not. I don't think he practiced yesterday. I'm not sure, um, but um, definitely looking forward to those guys to play. Man, we definitely need those guys uh, in both of our middles on our offensive line and our our linebacking core. We need them both in the middle. Um, 
in order for you know the Lions to be able to get through this this game uh, without you know too many issues. Um, yeah, expecting the defense to create some term turnovers this game to go ahead and get some sacks. Um, definitely, we think we'll be able to get to, get to the quarterback. Um, so this is this will be Keenum's real test. This is his real test going against a top notch defense, um, and we'll see how well he does. There's a few people out there that think that Sam Bradford was going to play. Sam Bradford is not playing. Um, he has knee issues right now. He um, went to a doctor to get a second opinion on this knee because he's having so many issues with it. Um, you know, pain and swelling and stuff like that. Um, you know Sam Bradford, man. It's the same old story. <laughs> you know, sad to see, man, because I I, I think he's a, a really talented quarterback, man. It's just, you know, injuries have derailed him his entire career, man. Um, but, yeah, Sam Bradford is not playing uh, against the Lions this week. So you can get that out your thoughts. Um, still listed as doubtful to, uh, today. So, <laughs> yeah. Don't expect him to come out and risk, you know, doing any more damage to his knee. His knee. With that being said, um, our defensive line, man, they got to take care of business. They got to put that pressure on Keenum, uh, rattle him, rattle the young fella, man, and, and cause some mistakes. And that, that'll that be, you know, key for the Detroit Lions winning this game. Um, if you can't produce points, you know, that defense have to be able to do what they got to do which I believe Matthew Stafford will come out of this game with probably three three to four touchdowns, to be honest. Um, and I'm not going off of last season. You know, every season is different, but I'm just going off this season. I truly believe that I always say week four is when teams start to click it. They start to click a little bit. You start to see a lot of the crazy, you know, uh, inconsistencies finally start to subside. So, um, I think the Lions will start to progress towards the team that we know we have um, starting this week. So definitely expect them to go in Minnesota and do their thing. Uh, I got the Lions probably putting up about 31 points against uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Um, with that being said, tonight, tonight is very important for Detroit Lions fans. You need to tune in tonight to Thursday Night Football. I'll definitely be watching it, watching it. I wish the NFL wasn't so strict because I would do, you know, I, I will stream it for you guys. I'll watch it with you, you know, so. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, can't do that. So um, definitely be watching tonight, man. We have two division uh, opponents going against each other tonight. We have the Bears against the Packers. Uh, I'm going with the Bears tonight. I think the Bears will go ahead and take care of business. If they're any bit of competitive as they've been, I think they're going to shred the Packers. Um, Matthew Stafford. I mean, not Matthew Stafford. Oh, God. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, his protection is terrible. So if they can get in there and sack the quarterback, man, the Bears definitely have an opportunity because I, I believe that that their, their duo at running back, man, I think they're probably going to have a field day today. Uh, the Packers are banged up and pretty, they pretty old, if you ask me, on the defensive side of the ball in certain positions. Um, I don't know, man. I think the Bears going to go ahead and take care of business tonight, man. Um, I just don't think the Packers have enough. But that's only if the Bears show up tonight, man. The Bears, you know, the Bears are the Bears. You never know what the hell you're going to get with the Bears. But if it's anything close to this team that I've been – you know, catching glimpses of, I think the Packers in trouble tonight. So, uh, because to me, Cincinnati should have won that game against the Packers. I don't know how the hell you lost, you lost that game, Cincinnati. Uh, I know your fan base is just pissed that you lost that game. Man. There's no way you should have lost that fucking game uh, because the Packers are, are to me, putrid. So, uh, with that being said, let me know what you guys think, man, what's going to happen this week. Um you know, what do you see positive, negative? What do you, uh, who do you think is going to flourish for the Lions, man? Um, and also let me know about tonight's game, Thursday Night Football, Packers and um, Chicago Bears. Um, get a good look at what we get ready to face uh, in this near future. So 
It's your boy King, man. Don't want to keep y'all too long. Already 10 minutes into this video. So, uh, with that being said, leave it in the comments, man. Smash the like button for your boy. If you have a YouTube account, please smash the like button for your boy, man. I'm trying to get um, this channel to pop out a little bit more, um, you know, before I decide to take it forward. So, smash that like button for your boy, man. Um, and I'll definitely get back with you guys uh, this week before the game. So, it's your boy King. I'll catch you guys later.